People ask, what are you talking about, Chewbacca noise? Hey, welcome back to Dino Machines. We uh, continue today with our 67 uh, Volvo Amazon. The one that sat in the woods for 35 years. And by the way, it looks fantastic. You can't, can't paint a car to look that good. Uh, we struggle still with our uh, editing software. It's given us some weird errors when, whenever we try to save, uh, as in it locks up completely. Has something to do with the auto save and I think the iPhone uh, video, whatever file it saves it as, what if the codecs are wrong, I guess, I don't know. So the workaround so far has been uh, try not to use cin cinematic mode so that's kind of what we're doing anyway we get into the drive shaft today um still waiting on parts if you can believe it it's uh the last email i got from the supplier was the end of may and uh may 26 i think yeah they sent us a p1800 badge instead so if you need a p1800 badge and uh the front um, hood grill badge right above the grill. Let me know. I have one. It's brand new and uh, I can probably send it out to you pretty cheap. You just pay for shipping, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so anyway, we fight with this thing. Enjoy it. Here we go. So the goal for today is to get this drive shaft out of here. I don't have clips for the U-joint end caps. Hopefully those aren't too bad. Maybe I can just leave them in there. My uh, personal belief is if you have it apart, you should just replace everything. <laughs> oh wow, that broke free really, really easily. What are the chances of that? Back in the day when they didn't use ratchets for anything. And just give some poor schmuck a couple spanners. You can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. What? Oh. 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 Here you go, buddy. All right, you don't want to watch this. I'll be right back. I'm here trying to get work done. We're being under attack. Uh, 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 oh, no, get out of here. Get out of here. What are you doing? So people ask, what are you talking about Chewbacca noise? Well, the Chewbacca noise that we're talking about, or sand people, depending on who you ask, does your carrier bearing up in there. That is the bearing having um, problems personal problems, deeply seated, needs help, maybe put them on Dr. Phil. I think the best thing would be to start with a job. No. Yeah, absolutely no. she needs a job. No! <laughs> All right, hardware is out. What are the chances this thing just pops right off, right? And it just pop, pop, pops right out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, okay. Well. Whatever. I seem to have gained an audience. Molly. <laughs> no. <laughs> Go away. One of my subscribers made a very, very good point. This drive shaft should be put back together exactly as it comes out because this should separate here. Um, I don't know if I'm if it's gonna give us any trouble. Maybe we'll have another situation where we gotta use some heat. Maybe we're gonna have to take this thing and uh, introduce it to 150 tons of fun, if you remember her. The beautiful lady that she is. We're yellow. Yeah, 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 uh, it's gravity. Uh, hopefully I can get that on the phone. Yellow, some yellow there. Catch it with some yellow. Catch 
me all saw. How about that? Get some yellow as well. In line. In, in line. In line. In line. In line. All down that line. Down the drive shaft. To this flange. To that guy there. That being said, I got halfway through on doing the front part of the drive shaft. And I realized my hair was very sticky because we have gear oil everywhere. If you know what that seal is, let me know because I do not. I do not know if that is the same output seal as a non overdrive transmission. This is the P1800 overdrive four speed. Um, I don't recall what the nomenclature for that transmission is. So, if you know what that seal part number is, please put that down in the comments. Thank you. news everyone you joints are in good condition now how the heck is that supposed to go through that oh it's just so full of dirt oh my god that's so much dirt oh wow oh 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 we did it wow i mean it, yeah, I knew we were gonna do that. This is YouTube, and everything goes right the first time. Oh, yeah. Yep, carrier bearing. Uh, the rubber is in nice shape. Oh wait, no, no it's not. I need to find one of those. Dirty. You going, aren't you? This is the power of the Crocs, baby. This is the power of the Crocs. Just a bet. It didn't move. Did you look at that? All right. Now, with a little bit of help, maybe we can pull this off of here. Big maybe though. Oh, easy. I don't even know what I. What? Oh. Okay, we're done. Easy day. All right, you just take your hot bearing off. I'll see what the problem is. Sounds fine to me. Does anyone else see a problem here? Reminds me of a personal problem. I mean, uh, it's only supposed to sit right there. Okay, well, uh, yep. I can smell the failure. Now for the sake of it, I spent some time, I took the bearing apart, I cleaned it. Uh, it's not great. It makes noise when you spin it. But for bearing, that's just going to spin a drive shaft on a car that barely goes anywhere. I think at least until I can get the rest of the parts to do it. I mean, I don't see any reason why we can't just shove that back on there for now. For right now, this spins pretty good for a bearing that was previously locked up. So it doesn't sound great, but whatever. I mean, I'm not going to be able to hear it over all the other problems in the car. So <laughs> let's just cram it back together. Oh, yeah. I mean, 
it's there. I mean, good enough for the girls we go out with. This guy has to go back on the right way. If you look at that, you can see that th this side sits a little differently than the other side. So I'm gonna go into the car and verify which side is which. Unless there's a marking on here, left, right, up, down. No, none of it. So I'm gonna go look. So as far as this is concerned, how you see it right here is how it sits in the car. So currently this is the right side over here is the left side, and that sits like that with your drive shaft sitting like like so. Okay, just like that. It's not brand new, but it's gonna work. You know what I mean? Back together. If you can see in there. We're on there, we're all lined up with our marks. Eh? 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 And the only only problems we have now is the uh, brake shoe that's dragging. And maybe a ton of slop in the rear end. <laughs> Anyway, all right, well, there you go. Another uh, fun episode. Welcome. If you're new, we got 85 subscribers now, which is badass. Thank you for showing up. Um, if you are new around here, don't be afraid to check out the Instagram, Brap Brap Dean. Uh, we post random stuff every once in a while. Huge shout out to my patrons. Otherwise, I think that's going to be it. So how about you go out in your garage and you fix something, huh? Have a good night.